Welcome to today's video which is about a fully supported, accurately balanced, double secured table saw fence. The table saw fence will be fitted on the Evolution Fury 5S table saw. This is a top level design, the right ingredients and with tons of good ideas and most importantly it does not require deep knowledge of making things. Everyone can easily appreciate the ideas behind this plan and follow this project. At this stage I would advise that uh, this video is not sponsored by any party uh, and there is no promotion or support. The equipment that we will use in order to uh, secure the fence on the uh, uh, table saw is as follows. First of all we have two slots of aluminium profile extrusion one there and one over here and uh, then we have a slide carriage uh, as a zinc die which is galvanized. This, the carriage is this and uh, uh, that's the reverse of it with an element that acts here in the center as a brake for the carriage and uh, this brake is tightened by this bolt here which is operated by this handle and I must uh, advise that the handle is spring loaded so you can pull it and turn it any way you like and it remains perfectly secure. For the purpose of uh, building up and securing the uh, fence onto the T extrusions we shall use a stainless steel split ring washer this one then an easy steel shake proof washer this one and then ordinary washers large size and nuts M6 nuts we will also use a double and a single, this is the single uh, angle, aluminium angle, 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 3 millimeter, and a double one, which is this one. They have been pre-drilled and there is sufficient degree of freedom of the bolt so that they can be adjusted. When this table saw came to me and I put it together I looked at the fence which consists of these pieces of aluminium these two pieces and uh, when I assembled them I found that there was a lot of flexing of the fence. The fence was secured onto a measuring uh, element on this side on the front of the uh, uh, table saw and it was secured by means of a plastic handle that was fitted onto a plastic plate that was secured onto the measuring uh, element. Because I, I was not completely satisfied with this type of fence I decided to go ahead and find a way of making something which in my opinion is much more substantial. I looked into CNC devices and uh, 
basically I thought that uh, the members that make up a CNC uh, system could easily be adapted to a uh, table show and uh, uh, I also thought that they would produce satisfactory results. So without any further delay let me start assembling the system and uh, I will guide you as I go along. Okay so now we have the gliders here and uh, basically what I will do is uh, I will assemble an element here which is double i.e. two gliders on this side and over there a glider that is on its own now the fence is a channel uh, steel uh, element and it goes like this and like this. The next step will be to fit the washers and the nuts so that this becomes secured to an initial stage. So what I have done now is um, I have put two pieces of uh, high density polyethylene here and here and I have clamped the fence onto them so that the fence is in full alignment with the slot that uh, we have here. I have repeated the same process on this side. These at the moment are free to move and uh, basically I have tightened all the bolts. Uh, in the same process I have added a stopper here and a stopper there so when the fence moves it will stop once it reaches this point here. So everything is uh, as it should be. I'm going to remove the uh, clamps And this is the arrangement of the fence and as you can see the fence glides as required. Now I'm going to bring the fence here and I'm going to take the necessary measurement with a micrometer arrangement that I made. So our micrometer is in position. I'm turning the micrometer on and zero the, the micrometer and we have a zero 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 reading. So three positions, one at the front, one in the middle and one at the back. Here we are 0, 0.00 millimeters. I pull back the plunger and in this position here I'm 0 0.65.
Again I retract the plunger and I am at the back and my reading here is 0.64 So essentially, the fence at the moment is got a tendency going this way, and this is subject to adjustment. Uh, before any further adjustment, which would be pointless, and I will tell you why it would be pointless, I will remove the micrometer and uh, I will show you the final part of the fence which is a sacrificial insert which I have already made Uh, at this point let me uh, explain that uh, both the steel fence and the sacrificial fence are above the surface of the table saw. Right, I just told you that it would be pointless to make any corrections to the fence at this stage and the reason I said that was because of the sacrificial fence. Readings will have to be taken with the sacrificial fence in place and once the readings are obtained then maybe we will need to do some corrections. These further corrections will be subject to a follow-up video and uh, this is uh, the end of the current video. I hope you found the video useful and valuable. If you want to uncover more tips and ways for creating top level tools and videos, do subscribe and click on the thumbs up so you do not miss my concepts and designs for the future. My big thanks to you for watching and uh, take care and I hope to see you on the next video.